We shall never surrender. My regular subscribers will already know this, but note that in the Hollow Earth theory it is believed that the outer crust of the planet is roughly 600 to 700 miles thick. Now I will continue with the new breaking science discovery. And try not to gloat. Water covers around 70% of the Earth's surface, but a huge amount also lies inside our planet. Two new studies suggest that there may be vast quantities of water as far as 620 miles, 1,000 kilometers, below the surface. Without this huge store of water, the geodiamic activity that causes volcanoes which are important for generating soil and sustaining life on the planet would cease. Water plays a key role in sustaining geological activity below the Earth's surface. Dr. Mukherjee told Mail Online, water in the Earth's interior is crucial since it helps in mantle convection a process by which solid rocks move from hotter to colder regions over geological time scales. If there were no water in the Earth's interior, mantle convection would be inefficient and would eventually cease. The surface expression of the mantle convection is plate motion forward slash tectonics will also stop. Volcanoes plays an important role in generating the Earth's crust on which we live. So if volcanic activity ceases then the crust formation will also stop and the planetary activities will eventually stop. Dr. Jacobson added, water mixes with ocean crust and gets subducted at convergent plate boundaries. Introducing water into the mantle promotes melting and weakens rock, likely helping out the motions of plates like Greece. In the first study, researchers from Florida State University and the University of Edinburgh estimated that water exists far deeper in the Earth than previously thought, stored in a mineral called brucite. Although the amount of water is unknown, researchers believe it could account for as much as 1.5% of the weight of the planet the same amount of water as all the world's oceans put together. Mayak Mukherjee, who led the study, said, We didn't think water could be stored by hydrous minerals such as brucite at these depths. But now that we know it's there, we need to figure out how much water could be effectively stored inside it. Geoscientists had long that brucite which is made up of 50% magnesium oxide and 50% water was unstable. But the latest research it transforms into more stable 3D structure at these depths. The team made the discovery using quantum mechanical calculations that probed different possible structures for brucite in the deep earth environment. In a parallel study, researchers from Northwestern University in Illinois suggest that this water is much deeper than any seen before, at a third of the way to the edge of Earth's core. The researchers discovered a diamond, spat out 90 million years ago by a volcano near the Soluiz River in Juya, Brazil. The diamond had an imperfection, containing minerals that became trapped during the diamond's formation. When the researchers looked at it under the microscope, they saw evidence of the presence of hydroxyl ions which normally come from water. The nature of the imperfection suggests that it formed in the lower mantle. Speaking to new scientist, Steve Jacobson, who led the study, said, this is the deepest evidence for water recycling on the planet. The big take-home message is that the water cycle on Earth is bigger than we ever thought, extending into the deep mantle. One of the studies suggests that brucite may go through a high-pressure phase, transporting water deeper into the realms, without decomposing.